Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you are having a good end to your week. I believe it is Friday when you are seeing this, or it's Thursday, one of those two. Um, today we are looking at an engine management script. So what this does is it makes it so when you get into a car, you're going to have to press the Y key to turn on the engine. Because obviously, in real life, you wouldn't be able to jump in a car and automatically turn on an engine, other than maybe like a Tesla. But um, this will make you actually click the button or use the command, depending on whatever you want to use. Um, so let's just go ahead and download it and check it out. All you have to do is go to the resource page, make sure to subscribe to the channel, by the way, and then go ahead and click the download button. This will take you to GitHub, where all you have to do is click the big green button and press download zip. Open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to unzip your files is fine. As we don't have a second folder inside of here with the same name, we have our actual files. We know we're just going to be dragging this main folder into wherever our resources are stored. For me, it is my server data resources folder. For you, it could be your TX data folder or your Zap hosting FTP file access. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag in this overall file into the resources. And I'm going to rename it and get rid of that dash main that GitHub adds and just copy the name engine and remember that. If you want the configure file, you can edit it with Notepad or Notepad++. Look at then change up your commands and your keys and all of that. Should you um, disable the start? Should you disable auto start? Should you uh, instantly do that? Etc. Etc. Can all be there. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go to wherever my server.cfg file is. Remember, if you're on Zap hosting, you have to do this through your um, panel, um, but otherwise you do it directly through the file and do ensure engine just like that. Save, start up your server with your start.bat or pressing start and look at your console and make sure you see started resource engine without any errors. That means you are good to go. Let's hop in game and check it out. All right, everyone, we are in game here. So I am in a car that I just stole. And if I go ahead and press Y, it's going to go ahead and turn on that engine for me. Or if I go ahead and type slash engine or press Y again, it's going to turn it off. Um, so obviously you can use this to your liking and um, just enable and disable it or toggle it or whatever else you want to do. I know some people probably would like this for in combination with a vehicle script as well, which you can obviously probably figure out um, to set up. So hopefully this did help you figure out how to have an engine script on your server. If you have any questions, leave them for the resource author over on the resource page. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and 5PD should be out tomorrow. See you all then. Goodbye, everyone. I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something